Hello everyone, this is Bikas from Ismail Academy and welcome to another video. So this is the part one of our Android app development series and in this series we are going to use pre-AVI to create an Android application where we will load the random cat application and we will let the user download that application and we'll also display the information about that particular application by extracting the data from the API that we have we are going to get from the free API list. Okay, so the cat API link is available to you in the linked uh, description of this video so you can go there and copy the this particular uh, api and open in your browser and if you open it it's going to load the random cat image so if i open this cat image you can see it's a different cat and if i refresh this it's going to load another one and if i open the image you can see this is the different one so the purpose of this application series application development series is to make you comfortable with the json extraction and how we can use the free apis that are available on the web for your own benefit and use in your application so these apis are free to use you don't have to give any kind of uh, you don't have to take any kind of permissions but it will be uh, encouraged but I encourage you to give credits and everything in your about section of your application so that you know people who are checking your application will have the clear idea where you are getting these images from. So anyway, let's go ahead and start developing our application. So I have my Android Studio open here. I'm going to close this application. So this is the old application that I have what I have built here. So I'm going to start from the scratch. So I'm going to create the new project and I will select the empty activity and here I'm going to give the application name and the application name is kitty app so it's about the cat so we're just going to call it kitty app but if you want to call it different by the different name then you can use it obviously so leave everything else as it is you can change the save location if you want and we're going to use the Java so I'm going to select the Java as the language and API 25 is the API that we'll, we will be using for our application. So this is the target minimum SDK. And let's go ahead and click on finish. And it will start building our application. Once that is done, we'll go ahead and start uh, writing the code for the our applications. Anyway, so I have given this link and I assume that you already have it. So go ahead and copy this. And once the application development, he, uh, application building process is done here, we will go to the string section and we'll create the one universal string so that we'll, we'll have that link available to us in our application and we'll be able to use that in our application when needed. Okay, the build process is done. And now let me go to value uh, directory here and go to the string. And here I will create the new string name and i'm gonna give this name as api url okay so here i'm going to paste the api that we have so now what we'll do is we'll use this particular api url to face the json data that is available to us so this is the data that i'm talking about so in this data we have a json array json object and json array of breeds and we have json object of this id url height and width okay so these all are the information that we'll be extracting in our application and display the images okay now to extract the image you can use a uh, different type of libraries but what i like to use is volley uh, library so it is the official json extraction library used by the google and it is simple but if you want to use anything else and you know what you are doing then you can do that as well but for this series i'll be using volley library and to display the image in the image view we'll also use picasso library so if you want to use glide or anything else you can do that as well that's perfectly fine but i'm comfortable using i'm comfortable with picasso so i'm gonna go ahead with the picasso so let's go ahead and get those library and add in our application so the first thing i'm gonna get is volley library so go ahead and search volley api and you will get this developer.android.com training volley website and there you can get the dependencies link that we need 
So this is the link when you need to copy from here and go to the Gradle section of our application here in the Kitty app, right? So here, scroll down and paste here. So I'm gonna give the comment here as custom API, uh, custom dependencies. Okay, and I'm gonna paste the volley. And we also need the Picasso library as I said for the image. I'm gonna go to the official GitHub repository of Picasso. So just search Picasso GitHub and from here you can go to github.com slash square slash Picasso. And from there you can get the latest version of Picasso. So I'm gonna copy the dependencies URL, go to our application and paste that here. Okay, now these are two libraries that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna sync this project so that we'll be able to use this in our application here. Okay, so let me go to so let me go to the, our application. So this is the final application that we'll be building. So for the general uh, UI knowledge, you can see here we have one card view, and inside that card view we have one image view, and that that image view that image view is loading the image from the URL. And we have these four buttons. These are the floating buttons. Okay. So one is for the information like downloads and refresh. So if you click on refresh, it's going to load the different images. Okay, so let's go ahead and design this first, this UI. And after that, we will extract the JSON data and we will implement that in our application. So don't forget to like this video and drop the comment if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel because I'm gonna upload a lot of uh, advanced tutorials as well. So I hope to see you in those tutorial series as well. So for now, I will see you in the next video.